Last year, we neither got an FE S series phone nor an FE tablet from Samsung, but this year, the company could launch the Galaxy S23 FE and Tab S9 FE. Up until December 2022, there was hope that Samsung would release the Galaxy S22 FE, a stripped down version of the Galaxy S22, but that never happened. One report said that the company had to cancel the phone because of chip shortage but had given up entirely on the FE line, and that seems to be the case. It was reported just today that the Galaxy S23 FE's battery was certified in South Korea, solidifying rumors that the phone does indeed exist. Win Future has supplemented that report by revealing that the Galaxy S23 FE already exists in the import-export databases of some countries. Those listings appear to confirm that the phone will have a 50-megapixel main camera, as was revealed by an earlier rumor. The outlet notes that the entries were made in late April, which means the phone won't be here before all August or September. That's because Samsung phones usually go on sale three months after they first appear in public databases. Rumors say that the Galaxy S23 FE will be powered by the proprietary Exynos 2200 chip, and there won't be a Snapdragon variant. The chip will be mated with 6 or 8 GB of RAM and 128 or 256 GB of storage. The aforementioned 50 megapixel main shooter will allegedly be accompanied by a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle snapper and an 8 megapixel 3x telephoto camera. The front camera is set to be 12 megapixels. Win Futures' Roland Kwan has also revealed that Samsung is working on the Galaxy Tab S9 FE already, but given that the Tab S9 series hasn't even been announced yet, it could be a while before we get to see the FE version. Anyway guys, we will keep you updated, so subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Good luck to all!